What's up guys, how you all doing? For today's video we're going to do honey halvas. This is bird bugs, bird bugs and this is two supers. I have few hives with supers up, hopefully some of them have honey. This is my first year's bees because last year all my bees died. So usually bees produce the most honey when you overwinter the bees and then in the springtime they get lots of lots of honey. I installed all of these bees in about May so I really did not expect that much of honey of this beehives but looks like I still going to get some honey this year anyways so let's see what I got. This is a styrofoam beehive I only have one of them we'll see how it does with the styrofoam beehive. Today for the most part I'm just gonna brush off the bees looks like the second box do you make any honey? So I'm just gonna shake him off, brush him off. There's almost no bees inside of this box. So we're gonna put it on the side. Let's see if this box is full of honey. At least a couple frames. This frame is almost ready to go. They're filling it up. But I, I think I'm gonna have a stall of it. For the most part, most of the frames are fully cupped off like this. This is what I'm looking for. Boom. So looks like I'm gonna get at least four frames of honey right here. I want my bees to get enough honey for themselves for over winter. So let me show you how I'm gonna do this. So lots of lots of smoke out here. Smoke them off so that way they don't fly too much. And then we're gonna take the frame off. Like this one and you see there is a little bit of bees down here so what we're going to do is just brush them off right into the beehive very very gently they'll just run away plus smokers flying everywhere and this side as well just just very very gently don't want to mess them up too hard since I don't have that much of uh, honey to harvest I can afford to just brush them off and not to actually use a spray or or a skateboards boom there is another frame without bees as you can see not that much honey at all like what five frames maybe just brush them off You want this honey to be cupped off for the most part, but this is, looks good enough. Most of it is cupped off. And, mo and one more. And there you go, there's another good frame of honey. There's a bunch of dawns, that's a male bees. I don't really need them at the end of the summer. So they're going to kill them off anyways when the summer is over. So it's okay. The rest of the frames are pretty much empty. So what I'm gonna do is just take this box off and close them off. Okay, they're looking pretty good. Now I'm just gonna put the cover back on top and took off the supers. There you go. And close them off so that way the lid doesn't fly away. They're good. And that's what I'm gonna do to the rest of them. This beehive have a couple supers. Let's see how it's doing. Oh, lots of bees out here. Smoke them up so that way they come down. This one kind of weird. I have one super with queen excluder and one don't have one. Looks like the top super don't have any honey. Looks like for the most part how it is. Gonna take him off. And this one has almost full of honey. Let me show you. Oh wow, this is, most of it is, have been cupped off on each side. That's great. So once again, I'm just gonna do it the slow way. Brush them off, put it in box. There's a lot more bees out here. 
you kind of want to do it gently for the most part they will just fly away so that's all I'm doing I'm not really heating them at all boom there's a couple more stagolos hanging on there and boom that's a perfect frame of honey so I'll put it with a separate box let's take a frame out see what it looks like could have been filled up more but this looks good enough I know what you want to do is have it completely cupped off but it's okay I have a lot of frames we'll just mix it with the rest of the honey and it'll be pretty good so this is another way to harvest honey when you don't have that much honey anyways I mean not that much to harvest anyways but most of these frames are pretty much cupped off Very, very gently brush them off, put it in a box, another frame of honey. Looks like I almost have 10 frames. This will make it 10 frames so far. So looks like I'm gonna do in few parts this honey harvest because it's just such a long process. You gotta take off all the boxes, then you gotta extract the honey. So part two will be extraction of the honey. This is more like just taking them off. And this year I'm doing it completely different. Also, what I want them to do, I want to take off all the supers because I don't want to feed them with sugar. I want them to have enough honey for the winter. So that way they stay much, much stronger. I want my bees to only be fed by honey. It's a last resort if I have to feed them with sugar. So this is why I'm leaving them two boot boxes and doing harvest honey so early because we're gonna have still golden rod and a lot of other things blooming. But I just wanna leave a lot of honey for them. Just gonna finish them off. Cover them up so the bees don't get in inside there. I'm just going to close them off. And just leave them two boot boxes. There you go. Now I have like 13 frames of honey that I can harvest. But let's get to the next beehive. This amazing honey harvest frames looks like I'll have to do next year. You see there's special plastic ones next year because bees did not produce enough honey this year. Okay, and then we're just going to continue to the next one. Let's see how this beehive is doing. As usual, looks like the top box is completely empty. I was just going to shake him off, get rid of them. And this one box is pretty full actually. As you can see, brushing the bees off, not the most efficient way, but it definitely works. Yeah, this is the good frame set here. This beehive definitely produces a lot of honey. Once again, I'm just going to brush them very, very gently. For the most part, I just want them to fall off by themselves or like fly away. These are very, very strong beehives right here. I have treated them with the hub guard. It turned out to be really, really good. So far, anyways. We'll see how it does in the winter time. Well, guys, I have a couple more supers to take off. 
This is pretty much it. This is how you can harvest your honey if you have only a few boxes of honey. Just brush them off without escape boards, so that way it's the quickest way to do it. You don't have to wait till the bees run away. You just brush them off and take the honey. But anyways, tomorrow in a couple days there will be a part 2 video. We're going to extract the honey and we'll see how much honey we'll get. Alright, thank you for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up this video, subscribe and I'll see you next time. Okay, now I just need to bring all the honey in the rack and unload it. They said here about 35 pounds of honey. This medium super, or actually 45, I don't remember. It's pretty heavy. So yeah, about 80 pounds of honey right here. Boom. Woo, heavy. And I have a couple more empty boxes up there that I need to take away. You don't want to put your equipment outside for fun. By the way guys, follow me on my pet channel. Links in description. I'll be posting dogs, cows, iguana, cockatoo and the bees.